I think we have uh, set a new record. This video uh, is based on the shortest, simplest comment I've ever received to have so much impact and, and so much to say about it. Uh, I am referring to our good friend Aki Hussein, who left a comment on a video called 14 months of rosemary oil for hair loss and how I apply it. And uh, here's what he said, Vegeta hairline, end quote. That's it, Vegeta. Uh, I actually had to look that up on YouTube to know how to say it. Remember, I'm born in 1981, so Dragon Ball Z, that was after my time. Uh, but I guess it's pronounced Vegeta, and uh, most of you are of the right age group to know all about Dragon Ball Z, and to know that the Vegeta hairline, if I'm pronouncing that right, Vegeta, is a very obvious point, and then it rounds out here, which, uh, before I have made this video, I've already made that one, having you assess what you think my hairline is on are we truly dealing with a V here and V's here? Because uh, it's starting to appear that way now that we've really seen my hairline. Of course, again, this has been three days since I buzzed it off with a zero. So we're probably getting closer to actually maybe to a number one by this point. But if I have a true Vegeta, and I, I looked it up on Google Images as well. Vegeta, and let me show you again with, uh, let me look here. Do I have it down here? No, I don't. I showed you uh, recently with my daughter's Minnie Mouse doll. With Minnie and Mickey Mouse, they have a true just point and then true complete circle like right here. But now that I've looked at Vegeta, it's not exactly a perfect rounded off. It's a perfect V and then you've got little angles here. So it's not perfectly round as we think it is. And I have to agree with our friend Mr. Hussein here. I think that Perhaps my hairline is, is Vegeta more than anything. Uh, and I don't know exactly how to classify that. We're going to have to uh, invite the official help of uh, our friend Robert, who hopefully is watching this, and maybe even Maxwell Smart. They, they know a lot about hairlines. Uh, but perhaps that's what we're dealing with. And perhaps that's what makes this particularly interesting now that I've buzzed off my hair. Because to say that I'm definitely Norwood 2.5, because I'm not just simply a V, but I've got, but, and, we, and I'm not Norwood 3, because Norwood 3, it would be more of a true peninsula like this. So I have been saying Norwood 2.5 vertex, or vortex, what I'm supposed to say, thinning here and here, but man, Vegeta, that's probably the hairline I have. It's like this weird crossbreed between a Norwood 2 and a 3. Perfect point. Not exactly rounded off yet like a Norwood 3 would be because there's actually little tiny angles. It's angled, almost like octagons. It's almost like a, a V and then like an octagon or a pentagon right here. Uh, so that's interesting. You know, and it's funny because well, for two whole years I kept calling myself Norwood 3 and now I know good and well. I'm not Norwood 3. I know that now and thank all of you who finally got through to me on that. I'm not Norwood 3. Uh, do I have my chart? Let me see. Yeah, oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, this was unplanned for me to talk about this in this video. But you know, here we go. You know, here's Norwood 3 and you can, you can clearly see that I've got too much of that V shape right there and not the peninsula that Norwood 3 has. Uh, and I'm not a true vertex either, because if a vertex means there's that much, I mean, you can see that much skin, um, you know, it's not quite, that. I've, got, I've got some minor thinning, I feel, here and here, which a lot of you believe is being helped thanks to the rosemary oil that I've been using for over 14 months now. Um, but let, you know, let's compare it again to, you know, Norwood 2, you know, that's, that's not me either because when I do this, I would still have some straight across here and I don't have that. I've got just this perfect point, uh, which some of you are saying widow's peak is what you're saying, but it's almost as if I have uh, an exaggerated form of a widow's peak, which I don't see it that way. I see it as a receding hairline. Um, but yeah, I'm not a two and I'm not a three. And generically, I've been calling myself 2.5. But if somewhere on here we could say Vegeta, <laughs> then that's what I am. And I, I fully embrace that. 
I think that truly is the best description I've heard so far of what my hairline is. So Mr. Hussein just says Vegeta hairline. <laughs> here's, here's, wait, wait, let me, <laughs> let me look up this name again. I want to pronounce it right. Or, so I, I think it's Aki Hussein, okay? Okay, so look, here's this huge crowd of people watching my videos day after day, t having these long comments with me, okay? Huge crowd, over 3,000 subscribers. And then Aki Hussein, he's just kind of strolling by, Vegeta hairline. It just keeps walking. Like that, I love Aki Hussein. This is awesome. Because in such little communication has really, I think, marked this. Uh, as far as what I was trying to do in that video, you know, that I had filmed days before, on trying to assume what hairline this is. And I do wonder in future videos, if I start saying that, instead of saying Norwood 2.5, if I just start saying Vegeta hairline, that might actually draw a lot of new people in because they'll, they're of the generation where they'll know who that was. Again, this video has been running for like over six minutes. Well, 30 seconds before it started, I went over to YouTube and watched, I typed in Vegeta hairline just to hear somebody pronounce it. I didn't know how to pronounce it. Because again, I'm older than you. I'm born in 1981. By the time Dragon Ball Z came out, see, I'm too old for, to, to have experienced that or Pokemon. I only know all about Pokemon because my son, because he's seven, you know. Uh, I was in high school when Pokemon came out. So that's why I'm out of touch with Vegeta. But man, I'm embracing the Vegeta, man. And I, again, I hope I'm pronouncing it right. So please, someone confirm that I'm saying it right. Because the guy on the video that I watched, he was a Korean hairstylist, so he had a little bit of an accent. And so hopefully he said it right, because that's what I'm basing this off of. All right, so new for 2018, I think I need to start saying that I have a Vegeta hairline. So again, here's my interpretation of Vegeta hairline. Perfect V. Not rounded here, not perfectly rounded like Norwood 3 is, but instead, sort of an octagon or pentagon. These, there's these little subtle angles that you see. It's not, it's not perfectly rounded. Uh, Google image Vegeta and you'll see what I'm saying. I, I just did it before I made this video. I think that's Vegeta. V, octagon or pentagon angles, which from afar may look like it's pointed here and rounded here, but when you look up at it really close you realize, and even I can see it and we'll see it more as my hairline, as my hair grows out a little bit more. It's not perfectly rounded. It's not. It's Vegeta. I am Vegeta.